Hey folks, Internet Dude here. Hey, in this video I just want to talk about uh, the accessories that I've done or the mods that I've made to the RAV4 Prime. Uh, we've had this for about nine months. Uh, we're sitting right around 11,000 kilometers and we've done a few things, not like anything too crazy, but I just want to show you uh, in case you have a RAV4 or even a RAV4 Prime and you're interested in what kind of accessories are out there. The first obvious one here is these wheels and tires are not stock. Uh, it's just about winter now, so I swapped out the factory wheels and tires for winter wheels and tires. These are actually studded tires. They are fast, something titanium wheels and uh, Michelin X-Ice Snow, uh, X-Ice North 4 tires. <laughs> I should know this. <laughs> anyway, so that's big and obvious. One other thing that isn't really obvious when you look at the vehicle is Back here, there's, uh, this is an aftermarket accessory. It's basically this piece of plastic trim and you take out a couple clips, four clips, and you put these in place. And what that does is it puts an extra wide lip here by the door. So if we open the door and you look at the stock configuration, you can see dirt collects on the door gasket and on this trim. So what this does is just extends that and uh, helps keep that area clean. So if you see there, uh, all the dirt and junk and stuff just come on here and falls down instead of getting caught up in the uh, weather strip. Um, other people are reporting that that also cuts down on road noise. So that's it for exterior accessories. Let's take a look in the back. All right, so looking in the back area here, you'll notice it says RAV4 Prime. We got the official Toyota accessory cargo liner. This is kind of a plasticky material. There's the stock material underneath. We may have a dog, haha. -ha. Um, but the one, like literally the best upgrade ever for the cargo area are these lights that pop into the hatch here. These are LED lights with a touch sensor. This is an aftermarket accessory. I got these on Amazon, but these make just a world of difference when you're back here because from the factory, we can see over here, no light. Over here, like the tiniest light you've ever seen. It, it combined the black finishing with a tiny light and at night it's inadequate for the lighting back here. So. I very much recommend that upgrade. Basically, you got to pop off some of this trim, you route some wire, come through the grommet here, back down here. You can probably see the wire if we take a peek there. Pretty easy to do that one. Um, there's lots of videos on how to do that on uh, YouTube, so I'm not going to go through that, but I, I do recommend that upgrade. And one more thing that uh, we keep down here in the spare tire well is this little adapter. This is a handy thing to have. So what it does is it lets me um, plug the RAV4 Prime in the J1772 type connector to a Tesla destination charger. Just uh, gives you a few more options when you're on the road. I like the compact size of this. I've seen some other ones that are bigger, but I like that this is very compact. All right, moving inside the vehicle. Uh, you'll probably notice these sport pedal covers. I moved those over from my Lexus because they fit right on. Uh, just provides a little sportier look. I noticed in the RAV4 that these are much more visible than in the Lexus just because of the height of the vehicle. Over here, we have this center console insert tray. I can't even remember if it was eBay or Amazon or where I got that. But if I, uh, I'm going to look back through and see, and I'll, I'll add some links to these different things that I'm showing you, just so you can check them out. Uh, another thing I did is I added wireless CarPlay. There's a, an adapter you can buy, and I just have it set down here. This one is the Car Link It. Anyway, with wireless CarPlay in this vehicle, you have to plug into that USB there. You can't plug into the USB in the console. So all I did is I just set it on top, and it actually stays there. So under normal driving conditions, it doesn't fall down or anything, and it still leaves this tray accessible for 
wireless phone charging and things. This is nice because the car has CarPlay, uh, which I use all the time, uh, but it's nice that it's wireless, so you can keep the phone in your pocket. So there's also up here the dash cam. I have a front and rear dash cam and just kind of routed the wire, you know, for the back camera went up that way, for the power I come down there, tucked it underneath there. Long story short, I actually tapped into the power back here um, uh, with the wiring. The one additional thing that I plan on doing to this vehicle is swapping out these switches with lighted ones because from the factory, all the RAV4s, at least in North America, only come with one little LED on the driver's window uh, switch here. Um, the door lock buttons aren't illuminated and these other buttons aren't illuminated. So, but you can buy a kit and just pop this apart and swap them out. So that's on the to-do list. So there's one more thing uh, that I did. Not a big deal, but in some other uh, areas, not North America, but um, I think in Europe, uh, different places, they have a weather strip here uh, from the factory. And what I did is I just bought this stuff from Canadian Tire, I think it was. Uh, it specifically said that it was for automotive and marine use and it's just sticky. You peel it off, you put it on there and it just closes up that gap. And with the hood closed now, you can see. So, some people were saying air gets in there, bugs get in there, you know, water and stuff. It wasn't a big deal to me. I was like, the um, part numbers I found online for the actual Toyota weather strip were not valid Toyota Canada part numbers. So I was like, whatever. Uh, I bought something that's rated for automotive use and just put that on and we're good to go. So I hope this, uh, this kind of helped you, gave you some inspiration on what you might want to do to your RAV4. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what accessories you've done to your RAV4, whether it's regular or hybrid or prime. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, if you have any other RAV4 video suggestions for me, just let me know. Uh, I don't have too much planned here in the next while, but uh, I'm definitely open to suggestions. Thanks for watching.